Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a couple seconds. I gotta talk to him. I got to interview with him real quick, and then I got the other case 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk to him right quick. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your name? Uh, D disaster? Is that what they call you? You want some? You want some water or some Gatorade? Which one? Which one you want? Now, nah, nah, come on, don't, don't, don't act too tough with me. Don't act too tough with me. All right, I'm the lead, I'm the lead detective on your case, and uh, I want to talk to you about a couple things. Disaster, that's what they call you? Okay, okay, okay. Who you with? The lush one and direct? I want to talk to you about a couple things, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know I've been following you for a while, you know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been on your case for about uh, the last three years. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna drink no water? All right, he one of the tough guys. All right, cool. He one, he one of the tough guys. You know what I'm saying? That's what they, you know. He he tough guy. So, uh, all right. So I've been following you for about four years now. Actually, uh, you've been battling overseas. You know, you battled in. You had a uh, you had dumbfounded. You had oxymoron. You didn't even know I was there, did you? You you didn't even know I was there. I was I was there. Yeah, I was I was I was on your case then too. You didn't even know. Uh, and then you had uh, Isazino recently. Oh, so you just think you're just gonna be a global entity. That's what you're gonna be, right? Well, we done put niggas away for a longer time than what we're gonna do with you, you know what I'm saying? And then you remember, uh, oh, okay, okay. So you want to you want to battle Eminem. That's the ultimate goal, right? You wanna battle eight mile shades. That's why they call me Slim Shape. That's what you wanna do in your future. You wanna battle Eminem. That's what he wanna do. Where's the money coming from? Huh? Well, you know, I don't have time to deal with people like this. So here's what we're gonna do. Either I'm gonna get the answers that I need, or you won't be sitting here for a long time. Gonzalez, bring me the rest of his paperwork. This is a disaster. You know, he was in the body move, you know what I'm saying? He's a he's a big deal. You know, but let, let me tell you something. I'm not about to miss no playoff games. The Heat play tonight, the Bucks play tomorrow. I'm not missing no playoff games for your shit. So here's the deal. Uh, you got this GTX thing going, right? Tell me about the GT. You ain't gonna tell me about the GTX? He don't want to tell me about GTX. That's cool. You want to talk about, uh, you niggas, you trying to get battle rappers royalties? Royalties? We don't even, do, do you know, I was sent down here by the other league. You know the other league, right? They hear about this royalty shit. They don't even want to pay these niggas. We want to throw these niggas on the app and keep them farmed in the system. You trying to give them royalties. Royalties? Royalties for what? We don't have to, you want to pay these niggas? No, you, you fucking up the grain. That's the only reason why they put me on your case. I've been on your case for the last five years. You didn't even know I was on your case. That's the reason why we work how we work. Let me tell you something about the feds real quick, right? When we come to get you, we already got you. And now you want to battle against Crooked Eye. Oh, you, oh, he want to battle against, because, you know, Slaughterhouse, Crooked Eye, West Coast, Legend. Oh, that's what he wants to battle against now. So disaster. Uh, if you can't give me the answers that I need, then I'm gonna go ahead and get on about my day. Uh, you, you stay here, and I'm gonna send somebody else in here to talk to you. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Click and play and follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. You know, I'm still, I'm still working cases. You know what I'm saying? That's why I got my vest on today. You know what I'm saying? Once I leave from this disaster case, I'll be on to the, you know, Freddie Gibbs. He just got beat up by 20 niggas up in Buffalo. You know, you still got the YSL thing going on. It's a lot going on right now, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> uh, seriously, um, salute to GTX, salute to Disaster, uh, Lush One, Direct, Crooked Eye, uh, everybody who put this thing together. They had a press conference. Last. Look, first of all, just want to start here. You do not need a three hour delay and a long, you don't need all that. For, to announce this. They said it was, they had the battle rap world waiting because it was like the biggest announcement in battle rap history. The biggest, I was like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be the biggest announcement in battle rap history. Let's see how this one goes. So I heard whispers and rumors. I heard it was Crooked Eye from earlier in the day, but I really didn't know. You know what I'm saying? I was kind of like, all right, well, we'll see. You know what I'm saying? I know Disaster, uh, when it comes to him and his battles, he will take it to 
the next level. He'll battle people that you never thought he was going to battle. Uh, his oxymoron battle. When I tell you, I just want to give you a, a example because I went there. These guys, like the, where, where Oxymoron is from, there were so many people there to see him. Like the Russians was like around the corner and down the street. Like it was so, he has some of the people that he's battling, like Asazino and Oxymoron. These guys are like international stars, like people that have millions and millions and millions and millions of followers on Instagram and their battles do millions and millions of views. And it's, it's it, I knew it would be one of those top, top, top names because he continues to do that. I feel like in his, uh, in his career, he probably wants to battle Eminem. And this is like one of the steps. You battle Crooked Eye, Crooked Eye was Death Row. He was a uh, slaughterhouse. It's cool with Eminem, cool with Dr. Dre. I believe he wrote for Dr. Dre, um, you know, ghostwriting and shit like that. And he gets a lot of respect for what he does with his pen. Uh, I did respect his approach. I mean, I did see the press conference or whatever. I respected his approach because he was humble. He said he's not one of the people that's just trying to get into battle rap just to, you know, make a mockery out of it. He really respects the bars. He really respects, you know, the, the, the game and how battle rap goes. It's an acapella battle. They're not coming in here trying to change the game and rapping on beats and all this other crazy shit that sometimes battle rappers do or industry artists do um, at the same time. They talked about battle rappers getting royalties. I'm gonna talk about that. And then um, I'm gonna talk about some of the, 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 the comments and the backlash that I've seen as far as like the battle goes. I've seen people say, you know, oh, they're not interested in it. Oh, I'm not excited. Oh, it's just crooked eye and things like that. On the West Coast and in hip hop, a lot of the hip hop enthusiasts have a lot of respect for what crooked eye does with his pen. It might not be your cup of tea as far as like what he does is lyrically or his music style, but you can't take nothing away from what he's done and what he's been able to accomplish. He's very dope as far as uh, lyricism goes. Him, Royce, Crooked Eye, Joe Budden, Joel Ortiz, that collective of MCs was definitely a dope. And they had a definite time frame in music. And now he's crossing over into the battle rap. You, y'all niggas, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before y'all ever complain, y'all let Cassidy come in here and get damn near half a million dollars with those performances. So if y'all go let if y'all let him get that, I bet I never hear nothing in nothing about nobody else. Chingy can come in this motherfucking battle if he want to. Y'all let him get away with those performances time after time. It took him about three, four battles to have one dope line. Like you couldn't see it with your ears and eyes. You got something, something. Where was I? Or some shit like that. Versus Hitman. After like two, three battles in the game. And this battle Cassidy before. I mean, it wasn't a great battle. This battle um, Dumbfounded. This battle Asazino. This battle Oxymoron. If anybody who's going to battle a big name in battle rap, it's probably going to be Disaster. And the reason why is because Disaster has international appeal. When he battled against the Oxymorons and these big names, he's helping, he's building his fan base in different places. So when his material releases, people remember seeing him and seeing his battles and they'll watch him again. Um, I do have a lot of respect for what he's able to do and what he has accomplished in his career. Um, I will say this, when it comes to battle rappers and royalties, I think that's a pretty dope thing because you never hear of any battlers or anyone getting substantial revenue after the battle is done. These guys are like contractors. This is the reason why you see so many Artists like, I'm not dealing with no contract, I'm gonna battle wherever I want because there's no residual income. You let's say your ticket is five thousand, right? I mean, five thousand is a top tier battle rapper. Like you getting five grand a battle, you 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 you're either up there already or you're heading there. Like guys like Easy and T Top and Chess and all of those guys, they're above five, you know what I'm saying? Like they're making good money. But once you're below that Let's say your tag, your ticket is two thousand or twenty-five. Let's say your ticket is two thousand. You get a thousand up front. You get a thousand on the back end. That's not no money. When you get that first thousand, you gonna spend that. That money, that gone. 
No motherfucker got kids, got girl, got light, got car note. No motherfucking car note. You know, motherfucker, you want to go out there and get a goddamn used BMW, or you want to go out there and get a, a old Range Rover. He don't get no car that everybody else drive. Motherfucking Honda. Or oh, he don't get no car like that. He don't get no Camry. He don't get no car like that. He want to go out there and fake it till you make it. He want to be one of them guys. Oh, you want to drive uh, a, a, a damn Audi or some shit like that. So you know, his car note expensive as hell. His car note about six hundred. So by the time he get that thousand dollar deposit. He got to drop fire on him. He got to get a wall change and all that shit. So by the time he get to the motherfucking battle, he ain't got nothing but the other side. So when he get that other thousand dollars, guess what the rent do? Oh man, Trey Trey got to go daycare. He got to pay daycare. So now these niggas ain't getting no money. You know what I'm saying? So now they got to battle every week. Y'all be wondering why this nigga got to battle every week? Why is he on every event? Why he battling two times a week? Cause the motherfucker ain't got no money. So when you put battlers in position to where they could get residual income. I'm all about that. I'm all for ownership. I'm all for, you know, look at this, my own channel. I can say what the fuck I want. Fuck you, fuck him, fuck them, fuck them, fuck, 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 fuck. It's my channel. I can say what I want. You know what I'm saying? But when you own the content, you own the direction, you own everything that happens with it. When you put on work for someone else, you know, you have to go by their discretion. It gets released when they want to. You know what I'm saying? Like, and when you're in a position to get royalties from it, I think that's a dope thing. Because even if you're getting a couple hundred every other month or, you know what I'm saying, maybe you might even trip across a thousand if you had a couple millions in your battle views, um, I think that's a good thing. Um, as far as overall, it's cool. I'm going to watch it. I don't dislike it, you know what I'm saying. I've seen other names get booked on other cards that we've really had an uproar for. Crooked Eye is definitely a respected name in hip-hop. He is respected. There's no way. I would say this. The other people that Diz battled against, besides Cass, like the Oxymorons and the, um, and the even Cass, Oxymoron, Cassidy, and Oxazine, they all have bigger fan bases, and I think Crooked Eye may have a bigger fan base than Cassidy. I don't know. It's kind of, I don't know. They kind of even themselves out. But internationally, Oxymoron and Oxazine don't have bigger fan bases. But lyrically, with the pen, Crooked Eye is probably more respected, and what he can do than the other MCs that uh, he's battled, you know what I'm saying? And Cass at one time was one of them niggas. I ain't gonna hold you. Now, not so much. But give it a chance is what I say. You know what I'm saying? You ain't losing nothing. Uh, I would say definitely give it a chance and see how it goes. And then you know you just might like the battle. But uh, I do like the position that GTX is in and what they're doing for battle rap because you know MCs once you're hot, you're hot while you're hot. I done seen them come and I watched them go. A lot of niggas that was hot for a season or for a year or for whatever the case. Old Red, Old Red was one of the best in the world at one time. Now, he's in a tournament versus JC and niggas think he gonna be in and out. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's what I'm saying. So when you hot, you gotta strike while the iron's hot. Uh, them niggas over there, they don't like you niggas giving these niggas royalties. We wanna stuff these niggas on the app. You wanna give them royalties? Royalties? Oh, no, we're not doing that. They might have shut that shit down. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, salute to every single one of y'all that watched this content, whether religiously or unpassing. Man, I was cracking jokes at the beginning of this shit. I thought it was funny, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Salute to every one of y'all. Salute to disaster. Gang, gang.